Winthrop University celebrated Earth Day a week early with a fair. On Scholars Walk, they had a bunch of different uh, booths set up. Uh, some were talking about the differences between tap water and uh, bottled water, and others were weaving uh, things out of plastic bags, just using different re recycled sources rather than you know buying something. One booth featured a water tasting activity where people tried unlabeled tap water and bottled water and voted for their favorite. We're doing um, a water sampling test, um, just seeing which water people prefer um, and because of the taste. Um, and the purpose of this is to explain that actually tap water is the most pure and clean um, versus Great Value and um, Dasani water. Which one do you like better? Harrison also wanted to inform people about how tap water and bottled water are regulated differently. The EPA is regulating tap water, which is through our federal government, and so it has more regulation. It's also a lot cleaner, um, and the use of tap water um, is also a lot cheaper. The results, are, we've done this several times in the past, and tap water usually is overwhelmingly the favorite. Another booth at the event featured a loom where plastic grocery bags were being weaved into mats that will be given to the homeless rather than ending up in a landfill. Now um, some places do not even recycle the bags anymore, so this is a great way to repurpose the bags, um, not only for the bag's sake, but also for the sake of um, the homeless people that may be receiving the mats. I feel like after today's event, I'm definitely going to be more conscious of how I recycle and um, I'm definitely on board with uh, more progressive ways to recycle. It's more important now than ever to educate people what what's going on um, and kind of kind of weed through some of that misinformation that's out there. For the Paul Meta Report, I'm Madeline Brooks.